Hundred days of making comics, man. He's a wannabe with a plan. But that's what it takes to make a comic, man. Hell yeah! We're making the comics, man. Hey, everybody. Mike here. Checking in for day 41 out of 100 days of making comics. A video series in which I'll spend at least 30 minutes a day, every consecutive day, working on my own personal comic, Space Cat. Space Cat! No, 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 no. So today I'm going to try a little different of a format kind of thing uh, for the video. Um, not that I don't enjoy the other ones, but I'm just, you know, this whole thing is kind of like a fun experiment. So I figured, oh, let's try something new. So, um, I remembered that uh, during uh, Gazbot's videos, what he did a lot of the times was sort of like a throughout the day sort of update. And uh, that was because he had a little more time to spend. So he would break up his day and kind of give you little check-ins uh, along the way. And now I have more time on my hands too. So I needed something to kind of make it interesting, make it fresh and uh, help, help me get into a, a, a habit, help me get into a routine and stay motivated. So um, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing. And today is kind of like, a, uh, I mentioned in a previous video, sort of like a day one. I feel like I'm starting a clean slate, turning over a new leaf, all those analogies. Um, just in uh, my work ethic, my, my daily rituals, my habits, uh, what it is I'm, I'm after. Um, so I will check in after more stuff. Peace. Moving on! Alright, so yeah, checking in for my second half hour update, uh, which actually was like a little over 45 minutes or so. Uh, my timer went off, but I wasn't quite finished yet, so I kept going. So, what I've been doing for the last 45 minutes or so is uh, basically mulling over my my log line, my, my pitch, the, the one sentence that uh, describes the book, because uh, Frankly, that's one of the most important parts, I think. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing, and I feel like if I had my, my logline nailed, and, you know, it, it was what it was, and described exactly what you're getting into, then I could be a little more uh, comfortable, I guess, to, to fill in those blanks. Maybe those blanks would be... Uh, it would, it would, uh, things would come to mind quicker as to, you know, what would be appropriate to fill them in. But anyways, that's besides the point. I don't know. I got my reasons. Um, so I decided to really just drill down the, the log line. So um, I, feel, I, I feel like uh, the, the space cat, the, the cat itself, and uh, what he's all about and everything that, you know, the cart with the eight cats, all that stuff, is essentially the backbone of the story. And I think anything else... Uh, would be like your B, C, D, E, F, G alphabet's worth of um, sub-stories. Um, because really it's all about the fun, you know, and then it's the rest of it that gets sort of... Uh, the, 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 the A story can be used as a vehicle to uh, tell the, the B story and the C story, etc. You know, like, um, for example, right, um, The X-Files is about, you know, a... Uh, a branch of the FBI um, uh, that specializes in the study of the supernatural. And that's pretty much the beginning and the end of the X-Files pitch, right? That, that automatically you're like, ooh, hey, that's pretty interesting. I might watch that. Sounds cool. But the stories you get are essentially B stories to the backbone that describes it. So you can delve into other topics. You can delve into topics of uh, abuse or um, uh, diversity or whatever, whatever you want to talk about in a story, you can, you can talk about, but the backbone remains the same. So, uh, whatever. I hope you get it. <laughs> of course you get it. Um, but for, for my purposes, sometimes I forget, so I didn't get it. Um, but anyways, uh, what I've been telling myself this whole time was this weird amalgamation of, of everything. Um, which was sort of a recipe for a disaster. Um, uh, what I've been saying all along is, is my logline is, is essentially this. It's a couple adopts a stray cat with a peculiar demeanor who tests their patience, eats their pencils, and shows them the way to be free from their problems and realize their dreams. And that sounds kind of weird, but that was the best that I could describe it based on what I was writing. Um, and it's the old, uh, you know, you gotta, well, I was gonna, there was an analogy, but uh, I'm not even gonna go there. The, the point being that that doesn't describe my story very well. 
I mean, it describes pieces and things that are a little out of order and not quite what they are, but that was the best that I could describe it. And so everything I was writing or, or thinking I needed to write was uh, to facilitate that. Or, or, you know, the, the log line was pulled from what was written rather than writing something that went with the log line. I, f I feel like I'm rambling all over the place now. I hope you know what I mean. But anyway, so I've been working on the, the log line for the last uh, half hour, 45 minutes, and I came up with this, which is much better. It describes the story perfectly. Why didn't I think to do this before? So, here we go, day 41, and now we officially have a log line. It's only taken us 41 days, but now we know what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Um, a young couple out of college, bored with the parties and adventures of youth and looking to settle down, adopts a rescue cat that might actually be a space alien from another world, hell-bent on enacting revenge on his, on his most notorious enemy, whose shape-shifting sentinels are roaming the earth as we speak, seeking to enslave and destroy the planet. Or he's just a really weird cat. So that's my logline. That would be what would be on the back of, like, the graphic novel or whatever uh, to describe the story. Um, oh, and uh, oh, there's a little bit more to that sentinel part. So, uh, whose shape-shifting sentinels are roaming the earth as we speak, seeking to enslave all sentient life, deplete every resource, and ultimately implode the planet into nothingness. No! Oh! Um... <laughs> which describes it perfectly and uh, the whole the whole comic is kind of uh, you're, you're sort of kept on the edge of your seat um, wondering if everything really is what it is or if it's just madness um, and I'm not gonna say either way because honestly uh, that's that's just how I like to write um, the other stories that I've written uh, especially the other two books they all have endings that are sort of open to interpretation, but definitely imply something, and so that's what I'm going for here. Uh, however, the biggest difference with this one is that, I, like I said, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but I am going to write a second book after this, um, Space Cat 2, or whatever it is, and that one, I'm not going to tell you anything about. <laughs> but uh, what, I will what I will say is that it is going to be a variation on a theme which uh, Space Cat itself is the theme that it will be the variation on. So, uh, technically, the two books could exist without one another. Like, you will, you will not have... you will not have to read Space Cat in order to understand whatever Space Cat 2 ends up being. Um, and that in itself was kind of fun as well, because uh, Space Cat 2 is almost not even going to acknowledge Space Cat 1. So whatever you decide the ending is of this book, that's it. Space Cat 2 isn't giving you any more hints to go off of. And if you decide to accept that Space Cat 2 is the literal sequel to Space Cat 1, then fine. If that helps you enjoy the story more, great. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, kind of, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and I'm gonna go get back to more stuff. So yeah, logline, and now it's on to, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun writing. I think I'm gonna keep writing. Um, yeah, alright, um, we'll see what happens next. Moving on! Hey there folks, Mike here, checking in for my last, uh, update of the day. So, um... The last time I left you off, I was about to go and do some more stuff, um, but instead, uh, I got the call to duty, so I went to, uh, pick up Mal, we came home, uh, did the whole making dinner thing and eating dinner thing, uh, hung out for a little bit, and then I went straight back into, uh, what I was doing. I didn't even clean off the table. Um, we ate in, on, like, the living room table. It's all one room, but we have, like, our dining room table in the living room because there's a forest in our kitchen. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, check the rest of the videos out. <laughs> for, for the mystery to be revealed. Um, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, I just, I've, I've been just pounding out all kinds of awesome, um, since, uh, since dinner, which was great. I've, 
didn't realize it, but I was actually getting really hungry and really sleepy, so um, I did that, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm figuring out all kinds of cool stuff, I'm really diving in, and like, as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to approach the story today as if I haven't written anything yet, um, because I think that's, uh, I thought it is, but I thought that that would help me um, uh, fill in some of the gaps that, that were there. Uh, before and so starting fresh or at least pretending to um, I've been able to kind of knock some other things loose that were that I was kind of stuck at and they've filled in those good I don't know how to describe it but it's been a great day and I've um, <laughs> I'm getting a little tired um, as the day goes on which is why I wanted to do the video now because I'm not going to stop I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing um, for however long, um, maybe about another hour or so, and, um, yeah, so, um, that's it. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Uh, I feel like I've just been kind of talking a lot, uh, without much to show, but that's kind of how it goes with writing. Um, I could show you pages of words, but, um, you know, ugh. So, uh, hope everybody had a great day. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> words.